This is an instructional video on how to use the Droplet Lab Contact Angle app. First we create a new account. Choose the username and password. Confirm password. And security question for password recovery. After creating an account or signing in, create a project. This includes the project name, the image calibration number, which is the outside diameter of the needle being used in the experiment. We recommend that you measure the diameter of the needle with a micrometer before starting the experiment to ensure proper calibration. If you are using the polynomial method, you do not need this value. The differential density is the density difference between the liquid and its outer gas or liquid. In this case, we are doing water and air, so we can leave it at its default value. In case you are doing liquid in liquid measurements, for example, oil in water, the value will be the density of oil being used, minus the density of water. And finally, the acceleration of gravity. The default value is 9.8. If you wish to provide a more precise value, you can. Select the injection mode depending on if you ordered the automatic dispenser hardware add-on. Click on the newly created project and enter image capture screen. We now put the phone inside the phone holder. Click on the blue image capture button and adjust the distance from the needle. We manipulate the orange box to select the area of interest. Use the focus slider to focus on the droplet. To get the best results, the focus slider should ideally be as close to the maximum value possible. The aim is to be as close to the droplet as possible without losing focus. Adjust the LED backlight and the phone's light to get the best possible contrast between the droplet and the background. Generate a test droplet to help calibrate the image settings. The camera focus should be on the droplet not the surface edge or the needle. Hit the capture button once you are satisfied with the settings. The polynomial algorithm can measure left and right contact angles separately. Needle can be inside or outside the droplet. The default method is smart contact points. Here user only needs to provide an estimate for the baseline and left-right contact points. The system then auto-detects the exact contact points. When selecting the baseline, be careful to not mistake the droplet for its reflection. This can be a problem with contact angles around 90 degrees. Hit calculate once everything is in position. The young Laplace method is the recommended method for axisymmetric drops. It will average out the difference between left and right contact angles. Unlike the polynomial method, needle has to be outside the droplet, and we need to do the calibration process to use this method. Move the orange points to the left and right of the needle and hit calibrate. An initial estimate is enough. If the calibration number is green, then the number is correct. If it's red or yellow, then something is wrong. We suggest you recheck the diameter of the needle in the project screen and redo the calibration process. Generally, the lower the calibration number, the better. Now we will demonstrate how to use multi-capture for dynamic contact angle measurement. The app's multi-capture function can be used to take multiple images in a set time frame. The maximum frames per second without an SD card in the phone is 10 FPS. Simply specify the number of images to capture and the duration of capture. Once you are ready, hit the capture button and start generating the droplet. Go to one of the images, do the entire calculation process including calibration. If using the young Laplace method, then go back and hit calculate all to process all the images captured in this time frame. After completing on calculation in a series of images, the rest of the images can be automatically calculated from the project screen if all the settings were the same for each image. In case smart contact points does not work, there are two alternate methods that user can use. Manual. This forces the measurement where the user decides. Extended. This is an alternative algorithm. Extended uses more of the droplet profile to find contact angle. A few features that are accessed from the project screen. The project parameters can be edited. You can load external images into the project.
You can also run a video slide show of the images and the project in chronological order. The calculated data can be saved for your preference. In settings, you can choose if you want to store the data on the SD card. You can also choose to save on your preferred cloud service. We currently support Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive and Box. We also allow you to easily report an issue from within the app via email. To archive a project, long press the project and hit archive. Archived projects can be accessed from the settings screen. After creating an account or signing in, create a project. This includes the project name, the image calibration number, which is the outside diameter of the needle being used in the experiment. We recommend that you measure the diameter of the needle with a micrometer before starting the experiment to ensure proper calibration. The differential density, which is the density difference between the liquid and its outer gas or liquid. In this case, we are doing water and air so we can leave it at its default value. In case, you are doing liquid in liquid measurements, example, oil in water the value will the density of oil being used minus the density of water. The acceleration of gravity the default value is 9.8. If you wish to provide a more precise value, you can. Our system supports three methods for calculating surface energy. Newman method, OS and good method, folks method. How to choose among these three methods for surface-free energy measurement? These three methods are the most widely used methods to calculate the solid surface energy. Any of them can calculate the solid surface energy for you. However, the literature suggests that depending on the type of surface you want to measure, one or two of these methods may perform better than others. So, we suggest that you first check what method is most widely used for your sample in the literature and select the same when you do your measurement. For the purpose of this demo, we will be using the Newman method with DAI water as the liquid. We enter the surface tension value for the same. Select the injection mode depending on if you ordered the automatic dispenser hardware add-on. Click on the newly created project and enter image capture screen. We now put the phone inside the phone holder. Click on the blue image capture button and adjust the distance from the needle. We manipulate the orange box to select the area of interest. Use the focus slider to focus on the droplet to get the best results. The focus slider should ideally be as close to the maximum value possible. The aim is to be as close to the droplet as possible without losing focus. Adjust the LED backlight in the phone's light to get the best possible contrast between the droplet and the background. Generate a droplet as a reference. Hit the capture button to take an image. With smart contact points, user only needs to provide an estimate for the baseline and left-right contact points. The system then auto-detects the exact contact points. When selecting the baseline, be careful to not mistake the droplet for its reflection. This can be a problem with contact angles around 90 degrees. Hit calculate once everything is in position. Create a project. This includes the project name, the image calibration number, which is the outside diameter of the needle being used in the experiment. We recommend that you measure the diameter of the needle with a micrometer before starting the experiment to ensure proper calibration. The differential density, which is the density difference between the liquid and its outer gas or liquid. In this case, we are doing water and air, so we can leave it at its default value. In case you are doing liquid and liquid measurements example, oil and water, the value will be the density of oil being used minus the density of water. And finally, the acceleration of gravity the default value is 9.8. If you wish to provide a more precise value, you can. Select the injection mode depending on if you ordered the automatic dispenser hardware add-on. Click on the newly created project and enter image capture screen. We now put the phone inside the phone holder. Click on the blue image capture button and adjust the distance from the needle. We manipulate the orange box to select the area of interest. Before adjusting the focus on the image, generate a droplet as a reference. Use the focus slider to focus on the droplet to get the best results. The focus slider should ideally be as close to the maximum value possible. The aim is to be as close to the droplet as possible without losing focus. Adjust the LED backlight in the phone's light to get the best possible contrast between the droplet and the background. Generate a droplet large enough that it is sufficiently deformed by gravity. A nice teardrop shape is recommended. It's best to aim for a droplet that's just about to detach from the needle.
Move the orange points to the left and right of the needle and hit calibrate. If the calibration number is green, then the number is correct. If it's red or yellow, then something is wrong. Generally, the lower the calibration number, the better. Now, move the orange vertical bar to where the droplet meets the needle and the two points to both sides of the droplet and hit calculate. This will give you the surface tension, the volume, and the cross-sectional area. Project. Select the injection mode depending on if you ordered the automatic dispenser hardware add-on. We now put the phone inside the phone holder, click on the blue image capture button, and adjust the distance from the needle. We manipulate the orange box to select the area of interest. Use the focus slider to focus on the droplet. To get the best results, the focus slider should ideally be as close to the maximum value possible. The aim is to be as close to the droplet as possible without losing focus. Adjust the LED backlight and the phone's light to get the best possible contrast between the droplet and the background. Hit image capture when you are satisfied with the image quality. Be sure to adjust the orange cropping window to take into account the stage rotation and droplet sliding. Start tilting the stage and adjust the cropping window accordingly. Once the droplet is close to the critical point, it is recommended to use the multi-capture feature. The app's multi-capture function can be used to take multiple images in a set time frame. The maximum frames per second without an SD card is 10 FPS. Simply specify the number of images to capture and the duration of capture. Once you are ready, hit the capture button and start generating the droplet. Keep tilting the stage until the droplet starts to slide off. Click into one of the images to make a measurement. User only needs to provide an estimate for the baseline and left-right contact points. The system then auto-detects the exact contact points. Hit calculate to complete the measurement. In the case of this image, the left contact point is not being measured at the baseline. This can be corrected by adjusting the brightness during image capture, or by switching to either manual or extended points. Extended uses more of the droplet profile to find contact angle. Measurements can also be done on a pre-tilted stage. This time, the cropping window will be shrunk to only select the area around the droplet. Today, we are going to show the unboxing and assembly for Droplet Labs Tensiometer, the Dropometer. The phone holder is used to mount the phone on the instrument. It has magnetic switches on both sides. The instrument comes with a Motorola phone that has a built-in stylus. The stylus makes the measurement process easy while wearing gloves. You can choose to use your iPhone to reduce the cost as well. Next is the syringe stage. This comes in the manual and automatic version. It has magnetic switches on both sides, as well as an adjustable thumb screw to adjust the height of the stage. The automatic syringe holder is used to hold and control the syringe and slides onto the previously shown syringe stage. The syringe is locked into the holder with two thumb screws, one on the plunger and one on the body. The manual syringe holder holds the syringe with two thumb screws and uses another to lock onto the syringe stage. The manual syringe is a threaded plunger syringe from Hamilton and comes with needles of various sizes. The screw plunger allows for precise volume control. The Cecil stage is used to hold samples. It has a magnetic switch on one side. It has a bubble level to help level the instrument. The LED backlight is used to make the measurement. It has a magnetic switch on one side and a knob to adjust the brightness on the other. The base plate is where all the components are mounted. It has four adjustable feet to level the instrument. We start the assembly with the base plate. Every component is locked onto it. The phone holder is placed on one side, and the magnetic switch is activated to hold it in position. The phone slides into the phone holder, with the camera at the bottom facing the opposite end of the base plate. The Cecil stage is placed and locked in. The LED light it is locked in on the opposite end of the phone holder, with the LED light facing the phone. The syringe stage goes between the phone holder and the LED light. The automatic syringe or the manual syringe holder can be slid and locked onto the syringe stage. If you ordered the manual syringe only, the automatic syringe stage will be replaced with the manual one. The manual syringe holder can similarly be slid into place. Depending on your measurements, the standard Cecil stage can be swapped out for the fabric sample holder 
or the tilting stage. Visit our website to learn more.